hello friends welcome to the channel solution today in this video we will show you how we can identify the blood group means the method for the determination of blood group by using abo system this video is also available in hindi explanation link of the video is given in the description box so first of all let's know what is the principle of blood group determination so as per the ebo blood grouping system human blood is divided into four categories that are a blood group b blood group ab blood group and o blood group this grouping of blood into a b ab and o is based upon the presence or absence of antigens which are called agglutinogens and these antigens are present on the surface of rbc means red blood cell and second are the antibodies which are also called agglutinin which is present in the plasma so according to abo system agglutinogen means antigens are of two types type a and b and second agglutinin means antibodies are also of two types anti a and anti b in addition there may be a presence of one more antigen called d antigen which is also called rh factor on the surface of rbc presence or absence of this d antigen or rh factor on the surface of rbcs of a person is designated the blood as rh positive or rh negative blood respectively or we can say the blood is positive blood group or negative blood group so the principle of abo blood grouping system agglutination reaction takes place so to understand the agglutination reaction let's start the experiment so for the determination of the blood group blood group kit is available inside this kit there are three agglutinin means antibody containing solution is available antisera a antisera b and antisera d Here the first blue color solution is antisera A second yellow color solution is antisera B and the third colorless solution is anti D first of all we have to take a clean and dry glass slide and then divide the glass slide into three part and mark them as A B and D as you can see in the video but for your convenience here in the place of D we have marked it as plus oblique minus to represent the blood group as positive blood group or negative blood group so that you can easily understand the concept and then sterilize the fingertip with ethanol and then adjust the depth of the pricker pen containing lancet and then prick the fingertip with pricker pen after pricking blood start to free flow from the fingertip and then add one drop of blood over the part of the glass slide where we have marked as a and then again add the second drop over the part of glass slide which is marked as b and then again add third drop of blood sample over the part of the glass slide where we have marked as plus oblique minus after adding one drop of blood in each divided part of the glass slide marked as a b plus minus oblique and then take one drop of antisera a with the help of dropper and then add this drop over the drop of blood marked as a and then on the second blood drop marked as b add one drop of antisera b solution and then on the third drop of blood marked as plus oblique minus add one drop of antisera d after adding one drop of each antisera at the respective blood drop on the slide and then mix it here for mixing the blood group with the antisera we have taken dry match stick and we are mixing it with the back side of the match stick or you can also use needle or toothpick for mixing remember that for the mixing each blood group with the antisera we have to take separate or you can say three different stick or the needle do not mix this blood drop containing antisera with the same stick or needle for mixing after this wait for few minutes approx 2 to 3 minutes and then observe the each blood drop on the slide for agglutination reaction means the red blood cell 
clumping or you can say hemolysis hemolysis means the breakdown of the cell by this agglutination we can determine the blood group here you can clearly see that in the blood drop marked as b agglutination reaction occurs means hemolysis and clumping occur in the mark b blood drop and also in the d blood drop marked as plus oblique minus agglutination reaction occur but in the blood drop a is still clear no agglutination reaction occur in the blood drop a as i have already told you that the blood grouping is based on the agglutination reaction here you can clearly observe the clumping and the breakdown of the rbcs means hemolysis in b and plus oblique minus blood drop it means blood group of this blood sample is b positive agglutination reaction occur when the specific type of agglutinogen means antigen present on the surface of rbc of the blood sample react with the specific means corresponding antibody present in the anti sera and after the reaction of the agglutinogen and agglutinin means antigen and antibody agglutination reaction occur and due to this reaction between the specific agglutinogen and agglutinin means antigen and antibody causes clumping followed by the hemolysis means breakdown of the red blood cells which is called agglutination so when we take a blood sample of a person for blood group determination the antigen present on the surface of red blood cell in the blood sample react with the antibodies present in the anti sera solution and the glass slide is observed for the agglutination and which occurs as a result of the reaction between the similar agglutinin and the agglutinogen means here when we add a drop of anti d containing anti sera solution in the sample blood drop and if the rbc of the blood sample contain corresponding or you can say specific d antigen then agglutination reaction occur between the anti sera d means agglutinin and the corresponding agglutinogen means antigen present on the rbc of the blood sample means agglutination reaction indicates positive reaction means corresponding d antigen is present in the blood sample means blood is rh positive and if there is no agglutination reaction occur which indicates negative reaction means d antigen is absent in the blood sample means blood is rh negative here you can see that in the first slide agglutination reaction occur only in the blood group where we have added anti d solution so the blood group is o positive as i have told you earlier that in the blood group o both a and b agglutination is absent in the rbc therefore no agglutination reaction occur with either of the anti sera a and anti sera b in the next second slide no agglutination reaction occur in all drops means with anti a anti d anti b means all antigen a b and d all are absent in the blood sample means blood is o negative next in the third slide agglutination reaction of the blood occur with anti a and anti d means blood group is e positive hence this a positive blood group have a agglutinogen means a antigen on the surface of the rbc which shows agglutination reaction with the anti a agglutinin means antibody a next in the fourth slide agglutination reaction occur only in the rbc to which anti a is added so the blood group is a negative next in the fifth slide blood group is b positive means agglutination reaction occur in the rbc to which anti b is added next which anti d is added so the blood group is b positive next in the sixth slide agglutination reaction occur only in the rbc to which anti b is added means blood group is b negative because as i have told you that if agglutination reaction occur in the rbc to which anti d is added then the blood group type is positive and if no agglutination reaction occur in the rbc mixed with the anti d then the blood group type is negative so here no agglutination reaction occur with anti d therefore the blood group is b negative next in the seventh slide as you can see here that agglutination reaction occur in the 
RBC of all blood drop to which anti A, anti B and anti D is added. So the blood group is AB positive because AB blood group has both A and B agglutinogen means both A and B antigen. So react with the antisera containing the corresponding antibodies means agglutinin means containing anti A and anti B. And here agglutination reaction occur also with the anti D. Therefore, the blood group is AB positive. Next, in the last slide, in the RBC of the blood drop to which anti D is added, no agglutination reaction occur, means antigen D is absent. No antigen antibody reaction takes place, so the blood type is negative. And here you can see agglutination reaction occur in both the RBC of the blood drop to which anti A and anti B is added. So the blood group is AB negative. So this is how we can determine the blood group. Thank you very much for watching this video.